Hello YouTube. In this video, I want to take a look at a game which I played in uh, 2019. Back then I was playing the King's Gambit a lot. So, F4, and my opponent took, which is the main line, and D5, which is known as the Abbasiyat defense, also known as the modern defense. So takes knight f6, which is uh, a lot better than taking with the queen. And here I played c4. There are several ways to play with um, white in this position. c6, offering a pawn, and now d4. And here my opponent captured. And, uh, well, this game was played a long time ago, but... Here I played a move which I thought was probably not good. Uh, C5, which looks anti-positional, but it's actually a good move. I mean, uh, one uh, Magnus Carlsen has played it. So, yeah, that's what happens when you study your games. Sometimes you play really good moves, so... My position is uh, decent, I suppose. So knight c6, and uh, I believe in the game uh, Magnus played bishop b5, but I played bishop takes on f4. Also possible is knight c3, which, well, I found a interesting uh, line for white. So if black gets um, greedy and tries to keep the pawn on f4, you can go knight b5, and the queen has to go to b8, which is just really awkward. And if you play something like bishop d3, a6, you have this uh, intermezzo, Checking the king here. There's only one good way to block the check, which is bishop e6. If you play bishop e7, then you have knight uh, check, and after king f8, you take on f4. And well, you have ideas of castling, and then this knight can go to g5, and both knights are putting pressure on the pawn on f7 the rook would be defending the bishop, which means that this queen would be under attack, so I mean, this should be technically winning for white, although it's still very complicated, but yeah, uh, black has uh, issues. But after uh, this, my opponent played bishop g4, which is a good move. And I play bishop e2, which is rather passive. You don't really want to put the bishop on e2 when you play the king's uh, gambit. Usually c4 or d3 are uh, the better squares. And here my opponent uh, violated a principle of chess uh, by moving the same piece twice in the opening instead of developing a piece. Bishop e7 is just the most uh, logical and natural move in the position. But knight e4 and now uh, what is just uh, better. So I castled. And now the rook has uh, potential pressure down the f file. So now my opponent played bishop e7. And here I went knight c3, and now my opponent played a move which basically just gives white a huge uh, advantage. Knight takes c3, which doesn't make sense. The knight is very well centralized here. The doubling of the pawns isn't that great, and you're wasting uh, a lot of moves because the knight came from g8 to f6 to e4, then taking. So that's a lot of moves. This knight has only moved once, so it just doesn't make any sense. 
uh, much better is just the castle and here uh, Ripka actually uh, suggests uh, King H1 as one of the top three moves which I thought was um, kind of amusing after pawn takes my opponent played b6 which is uh, probably the, la the last uh, chance that he had to castle and not lose the game as you know quickly as he did so after b6 I uh, pin the knight and here my opponent just uh, went back with the bishop which doesn't make any sense you, he was the one that was pinning my knight so now I, he's going back it just like what are you doing I think better is just uh, to play uh, rook c8 and just play this position after something like queen a4 bishop d7 uh, you could take uh, the knight and then take on a7 winning the pawn but better is actually to go uh, rook e1 putting pressure down the file and after black castles then you can take and win two, two pawns instead of just one so it takes and you are attacking the bishop twice so rook e8 and now you can take the pawn and well even though black has the advantage of the two bishops the two pawns are pretty strong and this one is already two squares away from promoting and you can't even put the rook on b8 because of the bishop so bishop d7 it just it didn't make any sense to me and here I played a move which I don't usually do uh, taking the knight I don't usually trade uh, bishops for knights unless I have a very concrete idea so here the idea was to play knight um, e5 which is what I should have played but I'm assuming I was running low on time So instead, I uh, took the pawn first, but this is a mistake, and it pretty much gives up uh, all the advantage that white had. If you play 95 immediately, let's say queen c8 protecting the bishop, uh, and after queen e2, you might be wondering, well, what's the idea? Well. It's not so easy to see, but actually, black is just losing. I mean, there's no really good move that black can make to get out of uh, what's about to happen. If you castle, you just lose a piece. And if you move the bishop anywhere, you still lose just differently, which is strange. Now I'm not going to go over all the different possibilities of where the bishop can go but you know you can look at that on your own. But I took the pawn and after taking 95 uh, just doesn't work. My opponent played bishop b5 but he had one saving move of bishop a4. The point is the rook is defending the bishop. In the other line, because I didn't, if you don't take the pawn, after queen c8, queen e2, uh, after knight e5, yeah, you don't have bishop a4 because you just take the bishop. So that's the difference. That's why this is a blunder, because of that one uh, move.
where you open the file and you have that resource of bishop a4. So after taking 95, here my opponent played bishop b5, which is attacking uh, the rook. And I guess he thought, you know, I was going to play something like rook e1 or rook f2. Or maybe rook f3 and uh, swing the rook to the g or h file. But actually, after the next move, my opponent just resigned because, well, there's really nothing to do. If you move the queen, then I just take the rook. So what happens if you take the knight? Check. And yeah, you can take here. I'll take the queen, and you can take with, I don't know, let's say this rook, check, and you can block it. So black has a rook and a bishop for a queen, and, well, white has an extra pawn, so this should be a pretty simple win although against an engine different story maybe I'll make a video in this position and uh, see if I can beat the engine which I doubt I'll probably lose but against a human this is just uh, pretty simple so if you like the video uh, do like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.